As the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe has Republicans plotting to push forward new policy that would go even further toward controlling women's bodies, including plans that could effectively ban fertility treatments like IVF. We know that because they told us, because they said the quiet part out loud. One anti-choice group even admitted to GOP legislators that they'd consider figuring out how to go after IVF treatments, and I quote, next year, two years from now, three years from now. If you're thinking that this mis makes no sense, you're right. You're not misunderstanding anything. You're not missing something. It's the ultimate nightmarish blend of hypocrisy and misogyny that you think it is. The very people who claim to be defending family values are actively shouldering policies that would prevent millions of Americans from starting families. In the most extreme version, they're pushing the kind of so-called personhood bills that paint women undergoing IVF as criminals and our doctors as killers, even as we are trying everything we can to create life. The thing is, they craft this kind of policy carefully, tactically. They're strategic about every word they use, about every comma they place, winking to their political base all the while. Their so-called personhood bills don't necessarily say, guess what, big news, we're gonna ban IVF, full stop. What they say is, hey, we're not completely, totally, fully opposed to IVF per se, but we definitely won't let you implant multiple fertilized eggs at once. 